Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Greece, otherwise known as Byzantium. Here in Victoria, too. Oh, I took a break because I had a really bad headache earlier. It's okay, though. Got some migraine medication. Makes it better. Anywho, checking relations before we get a move on here. I think we're okay at 185. And 171 is probably fine as well. Uh, let's work on people who we haven't touched in a while, like Britain. The Labour Party. Socialist Party is ruling Britain. It's not a socialist nation yet, but they are the Socialist Party. And it looks really, really weird when the Netherlands doesn't full annex Belgium. Instead of full annexing him, he decided to just take one half. So, I'm not even sure what to say about this. It looks like Germany is the body of some type of weird beast with this head, and it's eating something. Oh, God. USA apparently won their war to push Mexico into their sphere, and they also won their war to push Kokand into their sphere. I don't know how they did that. Maybe they got military access through Russia? I don't know. Somehow they got into Kokand. We are still recruiting a whole bunch of troops over here in the wonderful land of China. We can probably recruit more. Yep. Just get a couple guys, whatever. And uh, let's send these guys back home. I don't want to sit around with too many dudes chilling in uh, in China. Oh, there's a couple guys down here, too. Cool. I'll make this the collection point for that island. And Johor Baru can be the collection point for Johor. I already have this as the collection point. Yeah, that's good. Uh, could add some forts, but I think our money is better spent on factories or whatever. Cyprus has a small arms factory. Hmm. We need to fill our factories. You know, what we need is more focus points. If we get more focus points, we could uh, tell more states to focus on encouraging craftsmen. But we don't have more focus points. Our population is so bad that we only have three focus points. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? Hoo hoo for a what can you do? Are we upgrading all of our naval bases? We better be. We still don't have naval base level 3. Damn. And our capitalists are doing a shit job of upgrading our railroads. I'm tempted just to do it myself. Man, yeah, fuck it. Lazy ass capitalists. Lazy ass bitch. Why are you so lazy, capitalists? Why so lazy? Why so lazy? Nah. They're just probably sad that we're taxing them again. Don't be sad that we're taxing you. Be glad that you can feel pain. Right? Oh, God. <laughs> there goes our money. That didn't take long. Well, it's money well spent, right? These will make us get a little more resources out of all this land. It won't be amazing, it won't knock your socks off, and we're broke. But uh, hey, it's a start. And the capitalists are slowly doing their job, but very slowly. Anyway, let's unpause. At the end of the last episode, Spain did discover great wars. So that means we can now have multiple great power allies and we can get into great wars. Hopefully that'll be sometime soon. I would love to go to war with Italy, but I kind of want to do it in a way that we don't take too much infamy. For instance, we could fabricate a claim on Italy right now, but we might take like 11 infamy and I'd rather not do that. So hopefully we can find a situation where we can get into a war with Italy. Maybe we can attack his buddy Algiers could go for a full annex of Algiers, 10 infamy. But who's friendly there? France is friendly. Not sure we want France in there. I kind of would, would rather have just Italy and the UK. But I guess if France joins too, that's not the end of the world. It would really matter on if we could get Russia to help us at the beginning. Austria would probably help us. Austria hates Italy. Germany would definitely help us. He's a good pal. Hmm, I wonder if we can sphere Austria. 
No, Germany's got him on friendly. But is he going to be a great power yet or what? Oh, yeah, no. Italy's still ahead of Austria. Somehow Italy's score is just better than Austria's score. Look at that. That's a little more factories and a little more prestige. That'll do. All right. Let's continue. Boss Star goes bankrupt. Okay. Good for you. Still have uh, rebels over there in Spain? No? Where's your rebels? Here? No? Philippines? No. Where are these rebels you're speaking of? Rebels have risen against Spain. Where? I don't see them. What am I missing here? What the fuck? There's rebels in Italy. Italian communists. Oh, yeah, man. If Italy... Oh, wow. There's Italian communists all over Africa. I wonder if Italy will collapse. Are they in mainland? No, they're not. Damn. If they were in mainland Italy, he would collapse. That'd be hilarious. No, they're not. Spain, where's your... Where's your rebels? Because I don't see any. Maybe in a colony somewhere. He might have a colony over here with rebels. Really? There's uncolonized islands out here? Oh, it's too far away for me to colonize. Shit. Um, and Japan already has Micronesia. Yeah, Japan got some of the islands out here. I totally forgot that there's islands out here because I can never colonize them. They're always too far away. But uh, I can actually colonize Bintulu. If I got some range. Range meaning upgraded our naval bases here. But I already have upgraded our naval That's the best I can do, man. Oh, well, we'll tech up again eventually. I don't know where Spain's rebels are, but they don't seem very threatening because they're not in Spain. I don't know where they are. Britain's going to kick us out of Siam, but that's okay. Italy is a great power. So he has Algiers in his sphere. France wants an alliance. No. No. Go away. Oh, France allied Japan. Interesting. Hmm. Ooh, Japan wants the Netherlands as well. Oh, that could be weird. That could be really weird. I wonder how well Japan can get in there. The only real reason I want to go into the Netherlands is to go take Java and Sumatra. So I'm trying to get friendly with them so I can kick other people down. But it may not happen. Remove kebab from Europe? Well, there's no rush. There really isn't. If we make him release Bulgaria, that'd be two states out. If we make him give this back to... Actually, that'd be Bulgaria as well. Well, Bulgaria's got a lot of cores. Bulgaria has a surprisingly large amount of cores. Uh, but yeah, Bulgaria could have that, that. Three states for Bulgaria, one state for uh, Albania. But that's four states total, seven infamy each. It's too expensive. It really shouldn't cost that much to make another nation spit out something. But it does. Apparently we have some tension. You yeah, have a little bit of tension. Most of the tension is in Central Europe, Northern Europe. I don't have to worry about it. Ooh, Java's got tension. Neat. Wonder if uh, Germany would even su support them. If they go independent, we'll just go fucking annex their ass. How did we get Byzantium? We started as Greece. all you gotta do. There's no mods, it's just a regular part of the game. Alright, come drop them off. Pick up some more. Okay, we can get Siam up to Cordial. Might as well. 
And apparently we were banned from the Netherlands. Thanks, Germany. You're the best. Oh, friendly with Siam. Nice. Well, if we're going to be friendly with Siam, why don't we work on Egypt at the same time? That way it'll give Britain something to do. Rather than just focusing on me in one place, he can focus on me in two places. Uh, I wish I could turn off Netherlands for now, but you can't. When you get banned, you can't, you can't adjust the setting at all. You just, like, you can't use it. Why does our industry suck? Um, because we've been focusing on as many other things as possible, rather than just industry. And I'm trying to catch up on industry, but it's a little too late, if you know what I mean. Any nation that's been focusing on industry from day one has a huge advantage on us because they'll have, like, factory level 20 by now, whereas we're just level 2. And that means they're getting a lot more production out of their factories. They have more people working in their factories. There's a lot of things, a lot of bonuses you get if you have larger factories. We haven't had that luxury. Use Liberator will cost 11 inch me to release Bulgaria. True, but I mean, that doesn't really benefit us, does it? Nah. I get what you're saying, though. You can use the Liberate CV. Uh, oh, I have a truce. Well, let me look at someone like Russia. And I can't because we're, we're too friendly with them. Uh, France? I don't think France has anyone. Spain. Britain. There we go. So if we look at Britain. Liberate. Liberate country. Manufacture justification for declaring war with liberate country gold. This will take 154 days. So what does that do? Liberate an entire country from its oppressors. 11 infamy to liberate someone. you think liberating wouldn't cost infamy. Like, I would love to release India from Britain, but I don't think that's even possible. Is it possible to release India from Britain? That'd be hilarious. There's no mods here, so I thought that was only possible with mods. Like the uh, Dismantle Empire thing, whatever it's called. Let me turn off Spain, turn off Serbia, turn off Persia. Uh, relations Persia. Serbia and Spain are okay. We'll give Serbia a little back rub. There we go. Do I want deep defense or better? Let's see, artillery support. Let's get the artillery support. Need to make sure our troops are ready for the Great Wars. Now, Britain's way ahead of us on both Siam and Egypt, so I might have to go trick them up with a third influence. The question is, where would that be? Also, Britain took some infamy to annex Hejaz. But he never actually used the CB, and the CB only lasted one year, and so he can't actually go annex them anymore. I don't know why he didn't use the CB. Maybe he was busy. I don't fucking know. Uh, Yunin, can I influence you? Looks like, yes, I can. All right, let's go in. Oh, that's right, we have a truce. My bad. Fuck me. Um, who the hell else do we border that we can work on? Portugal. No, we have a truce. We always have a truce with Portugal because he keeps declaring war on me. Portugal's such a moron. Ah, Denmark. Perfect. I border Denmark. Does Britain border Denmark? Yes, he does. Right there. Okay, well, let's let's work on Denmark. See if we can't rip him out of Britain's sphere. Not that I want him in my sphere, but eh, whatever. Ecuador declared war on Peru. Oh my god. What is going on here anyway? The Argentinian liberation of Jujuy... Bolivia is getting beat the fuck up. Peru wants La Paz. Argentina wants Jujuy. And now that Peru is busy in another war, Ecuador has declared war on Peru. Ecuador, do you have allies? No. Ecuador, you're a moron. But, uh, okay, yeah, Bolivia is about to surrender, I'm sure of it. So Argentina is going to get this chunk down here, and Peru is going to get this chunk up here. And then they're going to turn their units and go beat up Ecuador. I wonder if he'll annex Ecuador. No, he's got too much infamy. Ecuador would be 22 infamy. It's ridiculous. 
Ah, the troops have arrived. Good. Uh, I think I'll leave those guys over there. We'll pick them up later. Leave that there. Leave that there. Let's pick up these guys from Africa, because I got a lot of troops here in Africa. Pick them up. Hmm. USA is working on Spain. Stop that. Japan is working on Spain. What the fuck? Discredited in Siam, that's fine. Having to do like a three front approach on Britain's sphere just because it's so fucking hard to get anyone out of Britain's sphere. He just he kicks you everyone out. He's insane. Spread out a little bit. We don't have a ton of flat land over here. There's a lot of hills. Hills, hills, hills. Flat, flat, flat. All the flat land is here in Thrace. And then over here in Antolia, it's just all fucking hills and mountains. And there's like one flat land in the middle. And then a little bit flat on the coast. But yeah, it's hard to kind of position my armies. We might want to get the extra supply limit. The next supply limit is like 50% bonus. So we might want to get that soon. Just so we can stand more troops around. It is nice that we have 150 regiments now. Discredited by France and Denmark. Okay. And we're up to 44 literacy. That's nice. Ah, healthcare. Good. Healthcare. Good. How goes the factories? Pretty good. Let's upgrade some. That's all we can do, huh? Okay. Holy crap, do we need small arms? We need small arms and artillery. My goodness. So Ecuador just allied Brazil, but he didn't do that before he declared war. If he had allied Brazil before he declared war, that would have been a different story. We just got banned in Egypt again. God damn it. Stop getting banned in Egypt. Alright, let me stop in the Netherlands, because that's pointless. Since Peru is distracted, Ecuador is actually doing pretty well here. But I imagine Peru will pull units back and go fight Ecuador. He should. Should be able to push him back, I think. Forty eight per cent. Ah, but their demand is a hundred, so they're gonna have to full siege if they want to get it. <laughs> Crisis in Lombardia. Okay. Uh, another crisis in Lombardy. This just keeps happening. But this is good, because this has Italy involved. Uh, we should probably join against Italy at all costs. Um, yeah, if we join against Italy, then we can get Germany in on our side. And Italy will definitely have Britain on his side, which means great war. Oh, boy. 
Put me in, coach. Oh, is that France? He's gonna ask France first. No, you should ask me first. Oh, Austria-Hungary, why don't you ask me first? France declined, there we go. I'm in. Okay, Germany, come on in. Will not accept. Acquire state, well, let's not do that just yet. Britain's gonna join against us, that's fine. Russia should join our side. We'll let them come in naturally, though. Hey, die factories, cool. The Chinese Empire declared war on Yunnan. Whoa, really? Oh, China lost all his puppets. China lost his puppets. China lost his puppets. Neener, 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 neener. Wow, Guangxi has westernized already. That was quick. Whoa, Yunnan, Qinghai, they've all westernized. Mongolia westernized. Whoa. And China westernized. Whoa, that was quick. I looked away for like two years and they westernized and they lost all their puppets. Wow, what happened, China? So crazy. All right. Okay, got our artillery upgrade. Hmm. Supply them at 50%. That is tempting. What about something else? Reinforcement. Yep, hi folks. France is on my side. Okay. Ah, Denmark. Pick them up. Germany could go either way, which is interesting. Russia will definitely join our side. Britain will definitely join the other side. Hopefully Germany joins our side. Nope. It looks like Germany's going to join the other side. Uh-oh. This could be bad. This could be real bad. Uh, what can we do? Bum, 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 bum. 11 infamy. Ah, uh, come on, Germany. What the fuck, man? Here, have some relations. Damn it. So because France joined our side, it has really caused a strange situation here. We might just want to go for a white piece. Hmm. This could go to war. Well, Russia joined our side. That's fine. But France, I mean, Germany is now most likely going to join the other side. Hmm. Alright, pick up some more troops. Such a weird situation. Oh. If I say, let's see, for 7.5 infamy, that seems expensive. Is there something cheaper? 4 infamy. That's cheaper. 4 infamy to dismantle fortifications in Piedmont, he will not accept. But if I say, take from Spear of Influence, Algeria, he will not accept. What about, cut down to size? No. He likes free the people, apparently. If we say we're going to free the people of Lucca and Amelia, Germany says he'll join my side if we do that. But that means we take four we take seven point five infamy right now, it means we won't be able to take anything in the Great War. 
And that doesn't sound like a good plan. I'd rather take stuff in the Great War. So I'm going to say no. We're just, we'll let Germany join against us. And we'll hope for a white peace or something. When did we start streaming today? Like, 8 in the morning? We only streamed for like 2 or 3 hours and I got a bad headache. But we're back. Damn it, Germany. Isn't there some other way I could get you in? <sighs> Why does it have to be this? Why does it have to be this? Why can't it be dismantle fortifications? You want to see the world map? Well, we can only zoom out so far. You can't zoom out all the way like an EU4. Hello, Panama. I wonder if we can sphere him. Probably not. There's some intense competition to sphere Panama to get that canal. But yeah, that's the world. I still can't believe China westernized all of China. All the substates westernized so fast. That was crazy. Right, the Ottomans won't even be in this war. Oh, the Ottomans got sphered by Russia. Okay. Yeah, the Ottomans won't even be in this war. But we should be able to walk through Serbia and then through Austria-Hungary and then into wherever. Yeah, this is going to be really awkward. France will be on our side and Russia's on our side. But, well, no, we'll have Spain and stuff. We'll have other people too. Damn it, Egypt. Yeah, I don't know why Germany wants free people, but he does. Oh, now he doesn't. Oh, yeah, he does. Germany wants to free the people. I don't know why. But yeah, that's 7.5 infamy, which is just too much. regiments with 19 tech. We're at 150 regiments with 17 tech. We're a little behind on tech. What about Britain? 240 regiments with 16 tech. France. 99 regiments with 20 tech. France has good tech. Spain, 72 regiments with 12. Oh god, Spain's tech is garbage. Austria, 73 with 15 tech. Italy, 37, oh god, Italy sucks. But he does have 19 tech. Russia has a ton of units with only 13. Oh wow, Russia's in the fucking Stone Age. What the hell, Russia? Hmm. I mean, it looks pretty cut and dry. I'm pretty sure Germany's going to join the other side, and this is going to go to a war. I'd rather it didn't. Yeah, 
I mean, Germany's my best ally, and yet here he is ready to join the other side. There you go. Yeah, I'll take that prestige. 818? Ah, 855. Thank you for the white piece. Beautiful. All right, we'll find the we'll find a better situation for the war. That really does that really wasn't going to work. The teams were lined up in a weird way. A couple more dudes. Sure. Oh, Paraguay has collapsed. Cool. And I'm surprised Bolivia hasn't fallen out of this war yet. Like what the hell? In fact, they are so busy with Bolivia that he is completely letting Ecuador just march right through. Ecuador is going to get everything he wants. Ecuador is going to get all of this. Oh my god. Ecuador is going to be huge. Yeah, Ecuador is going to take both of these states. Oh my goodness, Peru. You're a fucking moron. This is going to make Ecuador look like a genius. Oh, and rebels apparently. What are these? Anarcho-liberals. Oh god. Okay. I guess I'll take you guys. Um, hunt rebels. Have fun. Hunt rebels. Have fun. Group up. Split in half. On the boat you go. Any rebels over there? Oh yeah, okay. Let's go over here and dispatch these rebels. Actually, you can do it from Tunis, right? Nah, it's better if you dispatch them from here. Go to Calabar, do that, and then we'll send another army over here to Ethiopia. Yeah, that'd be fine. And you guys can do the rebels on this side? Sure. Darn it, it's too bad that I didn't go into a, a war. But things weren't really lined up properly. You know what, though? We're out of time for this episode today. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time where, where I'll continue to be extremely surprised that uh, China has completely westernized. And all of his sub-states have westernized, and he didn't get any of them. Does he have cores on them? Yes, he still has cores on them. So he could just full annex all these guys. It's so crazy. I wonder if Guangxi is going to be a great power. Probably. We should try to get an alliance with him. There you go. That looks fun. Nice. Guangxi and Byzantium sitting in a tree. K-I-L-L-I-N-G. Only tech three, but he'll get up there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.